Welcome to Bigfoot Research and this video is the clan of Hooter and Whistler 12 August 2014. Now many of you know that I've established a Bigfoot face database and it's becoming more and more useful as we find more faces. And I want to introduce you now to Hooter. She's named Hooter because she hoots like an owl. And this is Whistler, who I believe to be the mate for Hooter. Uh, he has been photographed a couple of times. Now I know I'm going out quite out on a limb and the skeptics aren't going to believe this. But uh, I want to kind of show how important the, the uh, Bigfoot face database actually can be. Now here's another shot of Whistler. Uh, and he's named Whistler because he whistles and I believe they make these different noises for a type of sound location much like a bat does when they're flying at night. I do want to make a note here that this is all of the human characteristics or human faced Bigfoot. There is another group in the area that are more primitive and I will be attempting to relate them together shortly after this video. Now you might remember this little guy from the nest video where I climbed inside. This is the first time that I had met Squeaker and I believe him to be the son of Whistler and Hooter. Because I did not try to kill, harm, or capture Squeaker while he was in the nest, I've had the opportunity to see him several more times and be able to track his growth rates and see how he's doing. Now this photo was taken approximately about a year and a half after the nest sighting. Squeaker received his name because he squeaked like a little squeeze toy. Um, however, as he gets older, that uh, squeak has gotten quite substantial. Now this particular photo was taken about a year and a half after the last one. Taking into account the years that have gone by since I first saw him, this would put him about four, maybe five years old. Now this is Squeaker as of the 23rd of July 2014. I would put him about six, maybe seven years old now. We are pretty sure that this is Squeaker because he has a very distinctive long nose and close eyes. Now let's take a look at uh, possible brothers and sisters or maybe cousins and uncles. Um, we'll take a look at that. Now this one here looks like a brother but we can't tell because we have not been able to see the rest of the body. He's got that long characteristic nose and kind of his eyes of uh, Hooter. Now this particular one looks like either a brother or a cousin. He still has the long characteristic nose but it's much more slender and his eyebrows are much straighter. However, it still could be a very close relative. In this particular photo, it could be Hooter's sister or Squeaker's aunt or it could be an older sister. We're not sure, but she does seem to be around a little bit. We feel that this photo here is a close enough match to the previous photo to be the same uh, Bigfoot. Uh, could be the uh, aunt or could be a sister. But uh, she has been photographed a couple of times. Now this one we're still uh, struggling over. She has the little, um, we call it a she, but we really don't know. But she has the uh, smaller button nose and close set eyes and so forth. But the actual facial characteristics and shape of the head is just slightly different than the previous shot. So this could be a second sister or a second aunt 
or possibly a young uncle. Now we get into one that uh, I believe they really look like a ninja. Uh, you know, you always got to have a ninja in your family. So the next uh, sh this shot here is uh, looks like one that uh, does the fits the bill very closely. Here's our ninja again, or at least it looks the same. I believe this one is probably an older brother. Uh, or maybe an uncle of Squeaker. So it's kind of interesting because he's got that glaring look to him. Here's our ninja once again. And we're pretty sure he's really real because he moved. <laughs> he shifted his weight just a little bit and we caught him. Well, here he is again. It's not a very good picture, but you can tell it's the same one. And to the right, it looks like he might have a buddy with him. Now, it kind of looks like uh, this one is uh, possibly a father-in-law or an older brother of Hooter or something like that. He's a bit older. He has a little bit of a broad, wide nose and so forth, but he still has... A hairless face and very humanistic looking features. Now this last photo is of the Bigfoot that came in and sat down by my fire to get warm. However, I was asleep in the trailer and my game camera caught him. Uh, so it gives me an idea that they know what fire is, I just have not witnessed them making any. Uh, However, this kind of looks like maybe an uncle or an older sibling or something like that. Um, again, bare-faced, human-looking features. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of our human-looking uh, Bigfoot that are in the area and how I think they're related. Um, you know, I could be totally wrong, but... You know, it's a good first guess, and it's all based off of just pictures. Uh, that's why we need more research.